Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Let the gates of journey open. <laughs> Let RVR TV on the road. Here we go. Welcome. We're heading north out of Santa Fe. A uh, little change of plans. I decided last night, I was looking online, we're gonna go up and check out a little town called Los Alamos, which is vast with history. It's about 40 miles up here from uh, Santa Fe. Also today, we're gonna cut through some back roads and go find a church that was like 250, 300 years old, still standing on our way up to Taos. We're going up to Taos today, Taos, New Mexico. Then we're gonna do the Enchanted Circle. All kinds of cool stuff coming up. All right, let me get up here a little ways and uh, we'll go explore Los Alamos. Only a few miles from town. Look at this view. You have to wind up this hill to get up here, Los Alamos. Los Alamos was part of the Manhattan Project. It's supposed to have a really cool museum we're going to check out this morning but before we head on up to Taos. What a view, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? This road is just packed full of traffic. Must be people coming up here to go to work. It is bumper to bumper. Wow, look at the size of this uh, rig coming down through here. That'll clear traffic. <laughs> okay, let's head on into town. Go. Check out Los Alamos, New Mexico. Very famous place and historic. Yeah, I was looking at the maps last night and uh, discovered this and I thought, why not? This is off the beaten path a little bit of the original route, but not that far. We'll have to double back when we go up to Taos. That's okay. Northern New Mexico is just gorgeous up here between the mountains, cliffs, back roads, small towns, huh? Los Alamos, small town too. And here we are. Welcome to Los Alamos, New Mexico. Right there off to the right, that's a little park that used to be the main gate. I got you in this top secret base. World War II, this is where they developed all the atomic uh, energy and everything for the Manhattan Project. Remember last year we went to Wendover, Utah where it uh, was part of the Manhattan Project. There's certain areas all over the country. I think of Washington State. I forget them all. But it's uh, pretty extensive and very historic. Looks like their airport off to the right. One big runway. Long one. That'll land a big jet. 
But the museum, we're early. We'll explore town a little bit, walk around, and then uh, hit the museum. Then we'll he head up towards the house. We'll only be here for a couple hours, probably. Sure is green up here. Look at all the trees and greenery. Beautiful. I got the phone on here, guiding me. <laughs> We're going to cut through downtown here. If you continued on, it would take you up through the mountains and down back towards uh, Santa Fe, I believe. This looks like downtown district, Central Avenue. Yeah, we'll check out the History Museum. There's supposed to be a big park to some uh, old buildings and ruins according to uh, what I found last night. When you look at a town like this it's hard to believe what they did here, huh? That Manhattan Project. All the top secret, extreme top secret work. Then in southern New Mexico, long ways from here is where they tested all the stuff too. Two years ago, went down seeing White Sands, New Mexico. Check out that video if you get a chance. Well, this is a street pretty much everything's on. It's not a very big town at all. Ooh, there's a big parking lot. Looks like I could fit in. Well, let's do a drive drive through and then uh, I'll find some parking. Got way over an hour for that museum opens. It opens at nine o'clock. Wow, the trees here are just beautiful. Probably get some pretty good fall colors here. That always dates a town though when you see big trees. It means it's older. Oh, there's a park off to the left. I think off to the right here is where the museum is. Let me let this traffic go by. <laughs> I'm slowing up the show here. Oh, they got a little farmer's market going across the street. Okay, well, let me get turned around. We'll go find some parking. Nice view of the mountains. Look at that. Wow. Uh, this looks like a good place. I'll turn here. Maybe we'll go up that big lot that I spotted. Get parked up there. Definitely July. It's heating up. Feel the heat. Entire southwest is hot. I think the whole country is. Made it. <laughs> yeah, parking a van isn't always easy in these small towns. You got their flower baskets hanging. Yeah, there's like a little mini mall here, strip mall. 
all kinds of little shops. Nothing's really getting opened up quite yet. Kind of cool looking buildings though, huh? What's this picture? It's a picture from Mars of a big rock. <laughs> wow. Go figure, huh? That's different. You know, there's all kinds of hiking trails, bike, all kinds of stuff up here. Look at them buildings. I mean, they gotta be original. I'm sure they've been uh, restored. Big old flat top roofs. What a pretty place. Well, this is the big park, I believe. I spotted on the maps with all the stuff, museum and everything. Wow, look at this thing. Huge eagle statue. Been there a while, it's rusted anyway. That's impressive. United States Post Office. Look at the front on this thing. Wow. Huh. Got a little plaque here. What's it say? National Register of Historic Places. 1948. Here's another marker for it. 48, that was after the war, though, when they built that. Standing the test of time here. Well, it looks like this is where everything is. Their buildings. Like a big park. We say we'll take a little stroll. That noise is a big leaf blower. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just do a big loop around here. It's still got about 50 minutes for the museum open. Huge trees. Those have been here long time, way before probably some of these buildings are ever here. Okay, I've seen this online. This is their part of their history. About the homesteads that were here way before Los Alamos became a army base. Like talking about the people that were here before. Albert Connell and his dog. More about the history here. This one, Homestead, 1887 to 1942-3. These are hard to read. They're pretty burned up from the sun. More pictures of the original homesteaders here. The Romero Cabin. That must be it there, huh?
pretty impressive. Romero cabin, yep. And this little building here, pretty solid, made out of that block, that rock there. Fire cache. <laughs> they stored equipment and stuff in there. TV, go back in time and see how they did all this stuff. Wouldn't that be cool? The big house. That is a big house. Look at the picture. It has snow on it. Now, they do get snow up here at this elevation. Oh, cool. Here's these ruins. These things date way back. That's amazing they discovered these. Thank goodness they're saving them. How they lived back in the day. Of course back then this is probably modern. Huh? What a cool little park. I mean, a little bit of everything here. There's quite a few. Well, I'll have a little time. Across the street, there's that park. Got a pond in it. And it all relates to the original time when all the troops and everything were here, I think. Imagine the amount of people have been through here. My goodness. Glad I came up here. This is uh, pretty cool. See a big old wood sign up here. Check that. It is really faded out. Looks like a map of the area. Bandler National Monument. A few miles looks like south of here. There's Los Alamos. But we're staying here. Okay. Well. We'll just wander around. See, and never know what you're going to find. Here's another ruins or something. Hopper chimney. What's left of it? Look at this building. I bet that was from World War II. And looks like some houses or something over here. Memorial Rose Garden. Got a little canopy with all the roses. Shade feels good. Right here's a museum. That building. They're not open yet. A lot of outside seating here. Probably like your community building, maybe, huh? Wow, look at the size of that tree. Goodness. That's hundreds of years old, isn't it? Made it through all this time. A little picnic area. Very well done, very well maintained.
Must take a lot of maintenance to keep that wood up. Looks pretty fresh, pretty new. Maybe they just restored this one too. Let's go check out that park across the street. Couple statues. Oh, those are the guys, huh? That's that general and the scientist developed all the atomic stuff. Oppenheimer, uh, Oppenheimer, something like that. Oppenheimer, I believe. Yeah, Oppenheimer. And General Groves. You know, they're making movies about this Oppenheimer now, or TV something. I think I've seen that. There's the park. We only got about 20 minutes left where the museum opens. This is called Fuller Lodge History Museum and Art Center. And here's this park. Wow. Nice, huh? Got a big pond down there. Can you imagine back in the 40s, all the activity and everything going on? Now it's just a big park. How time changes, huh? Back here's a museum. Yeah, all that wood on that building. That is very well maintained. Stuff bleaches out easy. Historical Museum. Los Alamos, New Mexico. We've got about 10 minutes left. There's another map of this whole uh, facility here. Very, very well done. My goodness. The only thing, they didn't have very good parking for RVs, but I couldn't find Maybe there is. I don't know. But we found that lot down the street. Welcome to the guest cottage. So, the original days, this was some kind of cottage, yeah. Old picture of it. What's this? Table fountain with a rock. Okay. <laughs> kind of cool. Well, the museum, I just seen them uh, turn on their open sign. We can head on in. Go check it out, then we're going to hit the road. We're going to run up the Taos. We're going to take the back way up there, too.
only five bucks to get in. Not a real big museum, but it's full of history. All about back in the day, huh? All the activity here. Here's ancestral. That's those uh, ruins that we were looking at. Then about the atomic stuff. This old wood floor really creaks and cracks <laughs> when you're walking on it. Fireplace, that's how you stayed warm, huh? General and that Oppenheimer. Huh. History. They're saving history right here. Los Alamos Ranch School. Must be something local. Created a school for kids. Some of the original locals. Well, there's a western town, New Mexico. A lot of ranches, I'm sure. Yeah, this floor. <laughs> Just creaks and cracks when you walk across it. Funny. Love the old black and white photos. Okay, a little dark down here. If the camera gets jumpy, I apologize in advance. This is about the Manhattan Project down here. Secret City, I bet, huh? About as top secret as you could have gotten back in that day. Growing pains of the town here, I bet. There's some old yeah, video. Look at that. From 1,500 population up to 10,000. Like four years. This town exploded. That's big back in those days, huh? How about an accordion for entertainment, like old Lawrence Welk, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool little museum here. It's not very big at all, but it's full of history. A difficult mission, I bet. All the workers. There he is, creating. Man, this was headquarters for it, probably. Yeah. And August 1945, oh boy. That's when they dropped him, huh? And all the testing in southern New Mexico.
New Mexico played a massive role in all this. Push to play. Where do you push? There. <laughs> so you can sit here and get a little few minute movie about what what transpired in this uh, historic place, Los Alamos, New Mexico. Wow. Shows what really happened here, huh? Yeah, I remember going up to Wendover, Utah. That was something. There's the plane. Look at that thing smoking that engine. Oh, man. Wow, is it warming up? And there's a few more little buildings. They put stickers on the sidewalk. You can walk around some more of this park. There's older buildings that are now being used for different things. Shops and businesses and whatnot. There's one right there. They all got the history markers and storyboards with them. Well, what do you say? We'll head back towards that van. Maybe we'll make our way up towards Taos. Get up in the mountains a little bit. <coughs> My dad was a World War II veteran, and when he was drafted into the Army in 1941, he stood in line one morning, and they said, you, 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 and you, you are not part of the Army Air Corps. He was, uh, that's where they even called it Air Force. Part of his duties when he was overseas in England was loading bombs on uh, planes, which he never was part of the Manhattan thing, but uh, he was always interested in this kind of history. So, uh, and always talked about Los Alamos for whatever reason. It was important to him. He never made it here, but I did it in his honor, huh, his memory little history of mine. All right, let's go find that van, huh? Okay, from Los Alamos to Taos, we're going to pick up a back road, Highway 76. Also called the High Road to Taos. We're kind of going into the sun, so I'll kick on the cameras when we get a lot closer. It's called Los Trampas. It's supposed to be a very old historic church. I thought it'd be kind of cool to find on our way up to Taos. And this is the scenic way instead of going up the main highway. A little farther, a little slower, but who cares? We got time. A lot of residential right through here. A little slow. Speed limit's about between 40 and 50 miles an hour. All right, now we're on some open road. Here we go. Few clouds up through this way. It's still hot.
right, this looks like we're entering Truchas, New Mexico. That sign said since 1750. Wow. My goodness, 1750. I mean, that was before George Washington. <laughs> My goodness. Back during the colonial days, huh? 1750. That's when the Spaniards came up through here. They colonized, I guess. I don't know. Tons of history. But should be a few miles up the road yet. Will be that old church. Looks like we gotta make a left up here, stay on the highway. Looks like about it for town, not much here. Keep on trucking. Pretty decent road so far and we're starting to climb. Once again, I call this the high road to Taos. I see a pullout up here. Yep. Stop. Check out the view. There you go. Time for a little break. don't realize how many people live out this direction. You're going up the road and you'd think no one's out here, but there are houses, really nice ones too, everywhere just scattered around. We got a little forest action going. We got trees now, huh? Getting a little farther north. Not too much farther up to that uh, Los Trampas. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to take that Enchanted Highway. It's a scenic byway. It's one big circle. You leave Taos and you end up back in Taos. We're going to do that trip. Cool, we made it. Here it is. This should be cool. So if you look at it online, look up Los Trampas. This is our historic district coming up. 
Ooh, 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 I see it. There it is. Huh. There it is. What do you say? We'll walk around, check it out. Gates open. Why not? Wow. History. Gotta love it. Look at the wood on that sign. Lost Trampas. Well, what do you say? Let's check her out. Yeah, it's really heating up now. July in New Mexico. It looks like these walls are made out of mud. Wow, look at this. Big old wood doors, wood balcony. Huh. If these walls could talk. Whoa. Still standing too. Looks like a grave here, huh? There's a sign over here. What's it say? Built in 1760. San Jose de Gracia Catholic Church. Hope I pronounced it correct. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Wow. 1760. Yeah, look at this wall. It's mud with straw in it. Still going. Oh my goodness, look at all the graves. This is a graveyard too. Bless their soul. A little scaffolding up there, so hey, they're keeping it going. It's like 200, what, 70 years old? Huh. Absolutely incredible. Glad we found this. Here's one for your history buffs to look. Let's go check this sign better. Yeah, that wall, look at that. Just mud and straw. Through the test of time. Seventeen fifty one twelve families built it between seventeen sixty and seventeen seventy six. They still remud the walls to keep it, and some of the walls are six feet thick. Wow. And it's still used uh, for ceremonies and all that. Neat. Well, what do you say? Let's get on up to Taos.
Got to make a left here. It looks like this is Highway 518. Going to take us right into Taos. Well, that's what the phone says anyway. <laughs> Be lost without Google Maps anymore. Huh? Remember back in the old days you had an atlas and just mapped it out? Now a phone tells you what to, which way to go. <laughs> Let's go to Taos. Oh, I had to stop here at this overlook. Look at the view. Way out there, there's town. We're not, we're close to town. Look at the mountains. We'll be heading up that direction uh, tomorrow. That's up towards that Enchanted Highway and all them towns. Nice green forest. What a pretty place, huh? Look at that way up there. You can still see little patches of snow up in the peaks. A little overcast, a little smoky. Probably fire somewhere, huh? Still pretty. Big old green forest. All right, let's head to town. Traffic's a lot heavier on this 518. Coming up this direction, this is definitely back roads, small towns, on this high road to Taos. Well worth it. Very well worth it. Very rewarding drive. The other one was a main highway, was it 68, 64, something like that. Would have been a lot quicker, but look what you miss. Got to take the back roads. Made it. Here we are. I found a RV park. It's called Taos Valley RV Park. Gonna spend the night. Well, we'll cruise up here away, see what we can find. Pretty good sized town. I got Walmart and stores and Safeways. Uh, Kit Carson Museum up here. Probably a lot of arts and crafts and antiques. And road construction. <laughs> We're getting close to the Old Town area. Well, it's all one lane. Well, let's do this. Let's drive through. Take a sneak peek of downtown. Now I'm going to go find that RV park. See, it's mid-afternoon because I went to Los Alamos. This is why I always get to these places early so I can get in and really scope around the towns before they get busy. Oh well. 
Let's enjoy what we can find here. Got some old, old style, definitely New Mexico style buildings. I'm sure tourism is big here. To the right up here will be the road we're taking in the morning, that enchanted circle. That's another scenic byway. We're going to go way up in the mountains, all the way around. Through Eagle's Nest, Red River, all kinds of cool places. Looks like shops, hotels. There's an art gallery there on the left. Old, old town here, isn't it? Well, what I'll do will be next video when I leave. I'll leave early in the morning. I'll do a drive through down here and we'll film it. So you can get a better look at it. And so many cars, trucks, and traffic and all that. All right, I'm gonna go back. I have to go back a few miles, find that RV park. Once again, it's called Taos Valley RV Park. That'll be home for the night. Hope you enjoyed seeing Los Alamos. That was kind of cool for me. I really enjoyed that. We haven't even started yet. Journey continues. Talk soon.